Okay. You coming? There we go. Ha! That's awesome, the arrow sticking out of the tire. Like someone was either using the tire for target practice, or, oh. Oh, it's just zombos. Okay. Oh no, it's a big guy. Let's just try to sneak past this whole fucking mess. Uh, yes, yeah, I've definitely seen the road. I loved it. It's incredibly depressing, but it's a really good apocalypse. The book is really good too. Actually, I've I've never read uh, I've never read a Cormac McCarthy book I didn't love. Uh, Blood Meridian was so good. Really fucked up, but good. I should make another shiv if I can. No, I definitely can't. Okay, that's fine. I don't need another shiv. Okay. I'm gonna have to get each one of these guys individually, I think. Okay, yeah, this is not so bad. They're dumb, just don't... Oh! That was... That was awesome. <laughs> Good job, Ellie. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get that melee weapon, I think. I didn't get like a bunch of this shit. What the hell? Okay, here, let's make something. continue to be sneaky because I think that's going to be the wise choice here. Um, there are, as, El, uh, as Ellie pointed out, there are a lot of infected outside and I don't want to get wrecked up by those guys. Oh, okay. There you go this way then. Yeah, I mean the zombies can't see your flashlight, so it's it's all just sound. Some bottles there, but there's bricks here. Saw something over there. Is that a machete? Oh, that's much cooler than a pipe. Oh my god, two of the big guys. Damn. Is it going to be possible to sneak past both of these dudes? Oh my god. Me too. Well, with these bottles here, so. I think we'll be okay. 
All right, here comes the test. I love that they're so big that their like clothes have all like ripped off. Joel. God, you know, he'd still, he'd still be hurt. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like totally perfectly better, that, that horrible wound. Because he got punctured all the way through. What? Damn it. Oh God, are they all going to be on me now? Oh, they sure are. Fuck. Climb, dude. Climb. Well, thankfully, they only got Ellie. Dude. Ellie. You wanna come down here? Or? No? Alright. She's just gonna stay there and get shot at over and over and over. It's fine. That's an okay way to be. Good. I don't think they can reach us now. So cool. Sorry, I can't hear you. Too busy swimming, which is a thing I know how to do, and you don't. I'm on the other side. <laughs> All right, hold up. They're just like overall a lot more chatty than they were before. <laughs> Shouldn't have even asked where this goes. The yellow lets me know. No, that's not. Unless the game's just fucking with me again. No, that should that should be it. Where's Ellie? Ellie? Dude? Yeah, I was right. Okay, I just put it in the wrong place. Yeah, where did my Ellie go? I think she bugged out. Right, just stick to the edge. There it's she shallow is. Over there. Hi. Where, where were you? Oh, I am hovering. Okay, here we go. There's another. What? Where, where are you freezing? Wow, Ellie is just like occasionally turning invisible for no... Oh, okay, hi. How'd you get over here? It's odd. Hmm. And another jam door. All right, Ellie, be careful because there's a clicker in there that I bet she isn't dead. Yeah, she's going to get, that one's going to freak out and jump scare and all that shit. Watch. It's fine. It's totally fucking fine. <laughs> All right, let's go. Cool, upgrade station. Being a level four tool, it's gonna pay off. All right. Here we go. A kind gesture. Thanks, Dragon Repairman. Uh, what do I need to upgrade? I mean, I wanna upgrade my bow, because I fucking love it, but I feel like the shotgun is my best choice. Blorp. Lorp. 
Let's blow up. Let's just keep working on the shotgun. There we go. There we go. Ultimate shoddy. Okay. Remember, wear safety equipment. Always use a condiment. Watch your head. Don't tell me what to do. Can I make a shiv? Come on. Yes. Awesome. Get into that shiv room. Huh? Ah. Cool, and I can make a new shiv. With these scissors that I found. All right, good, excellent, nice stuff. Let's go. Hospital. I know. I saw it. Let's see, looking for a pallet. Yeah, I like the. I think that there's a nice there's a nice balance to the amount of stuff and the like choices that you make in the crafting system. It's pretty elegant because they don't overdo it, you know. Uh, it's not, like, huge for success, but it does feel, like, meaningful. Yep. Okay. Again, follow the, follow the yellow... Follow the yellow brick road. Here we go. You made it. <clears throat> All right. no Thank God for conveniently placed pallets. Seriously, I don't know what I would do without them. I mean, we'd lose. We'd lose the game. We wouldn't be able to go anywhere or do anything. Yeah, the yellow is not subtle. It's true. You're right. Alright. Get on. Okay. <clears throat> okay there. Come on it. Jump on it. Be careful. I got you. Okay, again, broken yellow railing indicating where we need to uh where we need to take her. There we go. Was there a plank or a ladder lying over there you could use to get me across? Ah, there's the ladder. There's the conveniently located ladder. What's up, Joe Colton? Welcome to the squad. You just got fucking I'll Nathan Drake, my friend. You got Nathan Drake hard. I can just put it across, right? I can throw it in the water. I guess it's metal. It would sink. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. I put it up here. Climb it. Walk across. Drop it. Yep. All right. What an exciting adventure. Here we go. Yeah, dude. It's like my life is a video game. And I've played video games before. Alright. 
Come on back, girl. Oh boy. Let me go ahead and you follow my Oh Jesus, this okay, would be right behind you. Hey, it's uh cluster truck. This would be terrifying for someone who couldn't swim. I mean it's it would be a little terrifying. Nice, Joel. A little terrifying for someone who could swim. It'd be real easy to get sucked under. Okay. Come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. And then they both fell in the water and drowned. See? You didn't even need me. Let's get the hell off this thing. Yeah, for real. No, yeah, Joel doesn't strike me as a video game kind of guy. Get, get off the thing, yeah. Move, Ellie. Get to more stable ground. This is a very Naughty Dog sequence. They do this thing where, it happens in the Uncharted games a lot, where something invariably will do that. It'll, it's like you're climbing along something, the last thing will break. Or you're jumping and one of the things will fall. It's, in, it's incredibly Naughty Dog. It's like their, their main jams. What's happening? Why am I stuck? I'm trying to press buttons. Hi. Shit, and she don't know how to swim. You gotta get out of there. Go get her. Yes, the start of Uncharted 2 is exactly what I was thinking with the, the train. All right, where'd she go? LA! LA! Oh god, there she is. It's fine, she's only drowning. Grab her. Come on, Joel. Come on, man. It's right there, just hold your damn breath. Yeah, being knocked out underwater is not good. Oh shit. All those zombies, all those raiders, and all it took is getting knocked in the water. Hands in the air. She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air. Oh fuck you, fireflies. <laughs> you kidding me? As though anyone would do that. Like, I'm trying to give CPR to this little girl. Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's alright. They brought her back. <sighs> hey, you girl. came all this way. Yeah. How'd you do it? Guns. It was her. <clears throat> She fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. <laughs> yeah, we'll take care but of now her. I want to. Just let me see her, please. Listen, payload's been delivered. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. 
but it grows all over the brain. About that. It does. Yeah. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where. <clears throat> Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. <sighs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Cold. Fucking cold. Don't waste this gift, Joe. Get up. I said get up. It does look like R.C. Keel, you're right. <laughs> Move. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? Fuck you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. How about I just break your entire it was face? An room. I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Jesus. For the far end. Please don't shoot me again. So now, uh, Joel. Uh, Joel reverts to the Joel that was hidden, right? The Joel that we didn't get to see. Um, they're they're threatening his new daughter figure, and so he's become, uh, yeah, he's he's reverting back to like hell Joel to save her. Um, and I, I definitely think that's a thing in uh, that's a thing in this kind of fiction, right? Is the um, or like any fiction really, like at what price? It's the whole. We've talked about this on stream before. The like, would you rather uh, kill an animal you know and love? Or a human that you don't know, if you had to pick, right? It's the like, I don't know the whole human race, but I know this one girl that I love, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose her. Uh, you know, it's, it's all that stuff. Um, I can't remember, so I'm curious to find out if they told Ellie and if she got, if she had any say in it. I want that gun. My gun's bullshit by comparison. I'm just gonna punch the air. Haha! <laughs> I mean, shit, Marlene. I killed hundreds of people. I killed hundreds and hundreds of people before I got here. What do you fucking think is gonna happen? I am a person. With no fixed address and murder on my mind. Fan out. There we go. Excellent. Hey. How they call me the smuggler? That's funny. Oh. Your face, your precious face. Yeah, it turns out sometimes you gotta go in hot. Son of a... 
like how that punctuates. Oh shit. Let's make a couple of these. <laughs> hey, what's this object? One of those definitely hit his head. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, Joel Joel's going about this a funny way. Like to save to save Ellie uh, from the mad scientists, uh, he's just gonna kill the whole human race. So there's no one left to save. Oh, I guess mad I kicked over his light. Excuse me, game, rude. Wait, why is this pistol single shot? Doesn't make any sense. Swap out for the shotgun. And let's try to stay a little more stealthy because I really don't want to get killed. Where are these assholes? What was that? I got visuals. Oh shit, he saw me. just because they're in the way of my surrogate daughter. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a really like a hard, uh, that was a hard changeover. Okay, here, put the fucking bullet in. I totally thought that was a scripted moment too. That was really weird. Is highly death averse. Okay. You should go check that out. He's over here. Oh, 
Fighting these guys takes a lot of ammo. And weirdly, they don't seem to, yeah, have that much on them. Uh... Okay. Shit, here they come. Surround him. What was that? Hi, man. Sorry, you died. What do I have left? All right, fourteen shots with this thing. seem to be quite useful. This music's so spooky. It's not really like, you know, righteous anger running through a hospital music. It's kind of like spooky monsters stalking their prey music. Going, where is she? And then, because Joel got lost in the hospital, they committed surgery on Ellie. The end. Seriously, though, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Uh, gonna run around angrily. that brick. Let's, uh, yeah, let's fire these fireballs, I guess. I got something over there. Oh, guys. Oh, gee. So, okay. Um, does this feel, this violence against these guys, does it feel justified because they're going to hurt Ellie? Because that's what David wanted to do. David wanted to hurt Ellie, too. And we were justified in going on a rampage. Does this rampage seem to you, as a viewer of the of the game as someone uh, participating in this stuff is this is this murder train justified right are we are we in the same position uh if so why and if no why not what's different about it and also are you answering that question from your own perspective or from joel's have that gun or And also consider that there's no, there's no way for us to be as attached to, I guess Ellie is a, is, is an abstract, a concept to us as humanity at large, right? Um, 
because as people, you know, Ellie's not real. We know she's a construct. There's no actual, um, there's no actual fallout from this. Oh, shit, I'm really into recorder. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, I don't know, more like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently, there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I have another question. I'm gonna let her finish, though. So, um, how about this? Let's, let me posit another question. Uh, the Fireflies ask Ellie. They say to her, Ellie, uh, you have to die for this to happen, right? We want to save humanity, but for that to be possible, uh, you need to give up your life for, for, for us, essentially, for, for people. Um, and Ellie says, okay, let's, let's do that. Which, for all we know, could have happened. Right? Joel doesn't know if Ellie was given the choice. They could have told her that he was dead, so she wouldn't want to talk to him about it. But let's say she says that. Um, is Joel still justified in uh, going on his rampage to, like, s save her? Right? I really want to get in that room. I don't have a shiv. I don't have any sharp objects. Any more blades. Um... Right? Uh, also, if you have to balance humanity's continuing survival versus Ellie's choice, if Ellie says, no, I don't want to die, and the Fireflies decide, you know what, fuck it, we shouldn't have asked you in the first place, and they just sedate her and go ahead and do it anyway, um, are they justified in doing so? Does it, does it change? Okay, let's, uh, let's go. Back to where was that? Where was that door? Fuck. Oh, I think I'm in the wrong area. April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And an yeah. MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. So the game, the game is attempting to put us in this position, right, where it's justifying, or it's it's trying to sort of counter justify. It's saying. Um, you, uh, you're going, Joel is going on this rampage, and we are trying to justify why he shouldn't, right? Why Ellie should be sacrificed. Uh, obviously it was hard for Marlene, that's to help us, uh, understand that she's a person and not just like a cold-hearted supervillain. Um, we're being helped to understand how impactful it is, right? That, what did he say, hundreds of people or whatever have, uh, have lost their lives. Um... You know, it's it's filling in for us the information that maybe this is like the best thing. Oh, Bryony Stewart Sayom. Yeah, I mean the game isn't trying to make us make a decision in a particular direction. Jesus, we are getting loaded up. Uh, what it is doing though is it's trying to 
just put a spotlight on the fact that we are not just rah rah fight the bad guys in this situation. Um, let's see. I guess what it's trying to do is separate them from the um, the bandits that we're so used to just like fucking murdering. Wow, it's pointless stairs. Why didn't you just block these off so I couldn't waste my time coming down here? Alright. Um, I mean, we also know, we know Joel's character. We know who Joel is, right? Joel doesn't give a fuck about strangers. Uh, he's, he's a cold ass motherfucker. This part is so confusing. Um, and we've seen that even from, from the very beginning, right? Like when they were in the car, him and, him and Tommy and Sarah, um, Joel doesn't give a shit. Yeah, and what I think is, is really interesting about this, and we talked about this at the very beginning, is that um, this is not a game in which, in which you're given a choice. Uh, this is a game where you, you watch Joel make choices. I need more ammo. I need more ammo real bad. Like, I've got a flamethrower, but that's not gonna do me any fucking good against these jerks. Sorry, man. Fucked up, but I don't have anything to make a health kit. Okay, maybe, yeah, charging down the hallway is a bad choice. Just hang on to this brick. Shit. Oh man, I wish I had a bomb right now. I guess I, have a, I can make a smoke bomb. Let's do that. Really? Y'all? Nothing? You just... What's going on over here? Smugglers in here! Alright, we out! Fuck you guys. What? What's happening? Oh, I'm pulling an invisible object. That, that was cool. <laughs> that, yes, this miming that I did to pull this invisible nothing in front of the door, that should definitely buy me some time. <laughs> Joel, you okay, buddy? Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, uh... I just gave the okay to proceed. Let me just open this soda. Mmm, delicious. Oh, a hamburger? Why not? Asking you is more of a formality. Mmm. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at 
times. Here's a chance to save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. Ah, so she spared me. I'm not that was a mistake. Man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. Maybe he can forgive me. No, no. Wow, wow. What a nice person. Your daughter will be with you soon because I'm going to have her murdered. Yikes. I find it interesting they made the choice not to have Joel respond to any of the things he's hearing. Authorized personnel only, huh? Oh, here we go. What are you doing in here? I'm gonna ice all of you. I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Don't come any closer. I mean it. You kidding me? Cause I'm coming closer. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming lots closer. Much, much cl Fine. <laughs> the game gave me literally no choice there. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Come here, dude. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> oh, shit. such a good choice like the the scene right like oh he's taking her through pediatrics like whoa everything went all blue where did the universe go <laughs> that was a little fucked up okay so if they grab me it's over Yeah, juxtaposition with the early part of the game, him trying to carry him when he was carrying Sarah. Yeah. Come on. You can't save her. I'm doing it right Even now. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. Did you ask her? And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Right, and it's like, uh oh, is he leaving with her or without her? Best part of the whole game is coming here. What the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. 
What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... St they've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. So, uh, Sorry. oh my god. I love the ending to this game. I love it. Wait. Let me go. Just come after her. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, it's so good. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. Oh. It's just, it's so well designed because you're not in control of the narrative. You're just watching it. You're, you're witness to the things that happen. Well. You're powerless, right? Ah. Oh. Fuck. Looks like we're walking. Right now we're her, right? Like notice that switch? Like the, the perspective switch really matters in this game. Pretty, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Now watch your head going through. Now, I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked. Oh, God, and he's like. just like compounding his lie by like trying to ingratiate the two of them. Like, oh God, it's just so it's yeah. he's so gross. But like, because he's this, he's got this like, he's not a villain, right? Like he's just, he's a bad, he's a bad person. But at the same time, like we're, we're engineered to understand why he made that choice. Even if we disagree with it, uh, it's, it's so good. The, the manipulation of the game on us as a, an audience is huge. I got you. Come on. Hey, wait. <sighs> Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... I like the way he touched no his watch. <sighs> you keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. It's... Swear to me that everything that you've said about the fireflies is true. Oh, God, it gives me chills. I swear. <sighs> okay. 
Uh, God, do you think she knows? Like, that, I think that to me is the big question. That okay is so heavy. Like, it, it, it weighs so, so much on the whole narrative and like everything you imagine after it. Because if she, if she doesn't know, right? If she's just like, okay, I believe you, then you're fine. But she, she totally knows, right? She knows that something bad was gonna happen and that he had to do some horrible shit to protect her. And she buys into his, his lie because that's easier or whatever. Oh God, and she, so she accepts him Ah, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Fuck. This game is so good. And I, I think the great thing about it is that everything in it is meant to be kind of gray. There's very few, like, obvious, kind of like, you're a good guy, you're a bad guy. Like, everyone's got, like, shitty things that they do. Um, yeah, she's choosing, she's choosing to trust him. I think that's a good point. Um, right? And, and I think that everybody, this is what makes this, this game experience so powerful, is that everybody gets to make their own decision about whether Joel did the right thing or not, right? It, it comes down to the whole, is a single human life that you know worth more than all the human lives you wouldn't know? The other thing too is it's not a preventative cure, right? The world is already fucked. So, like... Joel choosing her means he just wants to live the rest of his life free of failure that he, the failure that he did uh, carry with him through the like 20 plus years between the first time we saw him and, and the, when the game takes place, right? Um, I don't even know that it's about Joel choosing what he thinks is right. I think it's about... I think it's about him choosing what makes him feel the best, right? It's not about some moral high ground. It's not like, um, you know, this is the right thing to do. It's like, this is what I want. Uh, this is this is what I want to do. And Joel, he, he, he takes charge. He takes over being the protagonist. He doesn't care about what's right or wrong. And... Yeah, and I, I think there there's a lot of conversation going on. There's a lot of conversation going on with um, uh, in in the in the chat about whether the fireflies had a, a chance to to make a cure or not. I think it's irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant, right? Because Joel wouldn't be thinking about that. He wouldn't be like balancing the choices and thinking about whether or not. You know, they'd be able to do it. It's for me, the the idea Hey voiceover cast, Matt Mercer. Hi buddy. <laughs> hey Jennifer Hill was in that game too. The whole gang's here. Um Yeah, it's about it's about selfishness, it's about uh making decisions for yourself. And like even that last decision I think I think that what we're seeing there is Ellie making a call to do the same thing as Joel. To say, you know what? I'm not going to dig too much into this. I'm going to ask you. And if you tell me, if you if you choose, we're, gonna, we're both going to live this lie. And, and I think that's... I think that's real significant. Um, because, you know, kids learn from the adults that they're around. And so she's learning from him how, uh, how to survive. Um, yeah, God, it, it makes me wonder, like, you know, I think what I like about it is that A, we aren't given a choice. I think that ending, this is like one of my favorite endings in a video game ever because we don't get to choose. Uh, we are not, we're not Joel, right? So we don't get to pull that decision. There's no multiple ending bullshit. There's just the, the pure narrative that the game designers wanted us to experience. I like that it's it's gray. It's a very gray ending, right? It's like we don't see the world get saved. We don't get we don't get to see any of that stuff. We just get to see a single decision being made about a single person's life and what they want, right? It's very human in that way. Um and I think that enough stuff happens in the game that it's not clear. We get to see lots of uh noble behavior and lots of violence on everyone's part, 
right? Like, Ellie is essentially uh, presented to us in a very normatively... Uh, like, they, they embody Ellie's character as a, a young girl because that as a society we see as to be like the most sort of pure thing. And then they start to twist it away, right? They start to say, you know, she swears. Little girls don't swear. She's violent uh, when she needs to be. Little girls aren't violent. Uh, she talks back to adults. We see her drifting away from our, our normative expectation of a, of a young girl to the point where like little girls don't hack dudes' faces open with a machete, right? Little girls don't stab people in the throat with a knife, but we don't live in that world anymore. And so we're forced we're forced to make uh, some new assumptions, right? This game doesn't take place in our world. It takes place in the world of these characters. And I think, and we talked about this a little bit throughout the playthrough, I think what's being said here is there's a balance, right? One of the big themes here is about carrying the, carrying the past along with you or giving it up and becoming a part of the, the new world. And I think that both characters uh, go through some of that. Um, Though why Joel does it is to assuage himself of the guilt and to kind of give birth in a way to this new relationship with his new like post-apocalyptic daughter. Um, you know, fundamentally, I think the the whole thing, the whole thing about all of this, is that they people are selfish. People do things for selfish reasons. Um, I'm I my my personal philosophy is pretty fucking bleak. And I don't think that anyone does anything for the greater good. I think people do things because it makes them feel good. It makes them feel safe and protected. It makes them feel good about themselves. It makes them feel like the uh, protagonist of their own story, right? And basically, like in my in my opinion, like all all sort of human kindness comes from that desire to see yourself as a good person. And it's, it's great. It's a nice byproduct. It's nice that we can do good things in the world because it makes us feel good about ourselves. But let's not pretend we do them out of self-sacrifice. And I think that it would be an unrealistic ending if Joel were like, yes, take this, this, this last human that I care about and save all these humans I don't know. And, and honestly, they've all tried to hurt and, and kill and maim and frighten me for the entirety of the game, 100% of our experience with the narrative is about Joel killing people and fighting and struggling against a world that hates him. And so why, why would he ever in a million years choose to protect it or save it, right? The world for Joel is very small and is embodied in, in Ellie. And that's all we get, right? That's his world. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking awesome. Um, I'm I'm just I'm blown away by by what a great design uh, this this game presents. Oh, look at the switchblade! Look, there's a knife in the window. Damn. So uh, that's that's been the Last of Us, uh, the main game at least. Um, I definitely intend to play the uh, the DLC, but that's uh, that's been our playthrough of the uh, the main game. Um, I played it on the uh, PS4 Pro, and uh, I uh, I really enjoyed it. I liked it just as much the second time, even though there was there was nothing there was nothing like surprising. You know, I think before we before we close up, um, uh, Alex asked what I don't like about the game. Like a lot of the gameplay is kind of like lackluster. Like it's. It's Uncharted. It's it's a standard kind of run and gun. Um, I don't feel like criticizing that stuff because it's just so like generic, and I think it's so overpowered by the story. Um, I don't think that the narrative and the thematic stuff really mesh that well, but uh, I really like um, I really like the game, like just generally enough that that the gameplay is fine and it it gives you something to do, um, but. Uh, but yeah, um, I would say overall, I, I would I would rate this game very highly, um, and I, I I super enjoy the experience of uh, of playing it. Hopefully my uh, hopefully my my commentary provided some some new stuff, and uh, and hopefully you enjoy talking about it with each other too, because that's that's a big part of uh, what I like about playing games like this. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming. This has been uh, the Last of Us.